the name of Allah, the most kind, the most merciful. Uh, last Friday, and all over the country, all the most, all people, I will say not Muslims, all the human beings, in the wake of recent events done by Indian forces in occupied Kashmir, like uh, our brothers and sisters, the human beings, they are detained. They don't have water uh, to drink, they don't have food, and basically it is a human crisis there. So uh, we have a privilege here, our local MP, uh, Mr. Jonathan Lord, he is very kind MP from Woking, Surrey. Uh, he has, uh, today he has said in this uh, public meeting, he is doing a lot uh, for the human being in, the, in relation to human rights, what, what is being done uh, by Indian forces in occupied Kashmir. Mm -hmm. He has written a letter to the Prime Minister, so whatever he could do, he is doing. I would like to request him, please, if, if you emphasize what are you doing uh, in, in, in wake of the, these uh, recent uh, uh, action by Indian forces? And as it is long-standing issue uh, on the UN platform, uh, it is disputed issue, uh, not bilateral issue, but it is international issue for all international community. Please, uh, if you uh, have a few words. Uh, well, thank you very much indeed for uh, inviting me to be with you today. Um, I think we are all very concerned about what's going on in Kashmir. Um, first of all, we need to make sure that human rights are respected. Uh, and in order to do that, we need impartial and independent international observers. Uh, we need the international media to be able to, to be there. And of course, we need humanitarian agencies from across the world to be able to reach out uh, and help uh, uh, in Kashmir. Uh, so we're worried about human rights, uh, we're worried about Article 370. Uh, in the long term, India and Pakistan, uh, with the help of the UN and respecting all those UN resolutions which talk about self-determination for the Kashmiri people, uh, we need a long-term proper solution to this. But in the short term, we would plead with, uh, with India uh, to respect human rights. We need the international community to make sure uh, that human rights are respected. Uh, and here in the UK, uh, I've written to the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary, I'll be meeting with the Foreign Secretary, and I'm supporting the all-party parliamentary group for Kashmir in its excellent work as well. And we have a petition going to 10 Downing Street next week. Uh, so the, the whole of the UK, the whole of the international community needs to come, come and support the Kashmiri people in their hour of fear and need. Uh, and we plead with India uh, to respect human rights and put the situation right. And I will do what I can to help. And do you think you and know an international community, they should play a very positive role to this? And do you think there is something going on? They should play you know, more actively role? I think it's absolutely crucial that the United Nations, uh, all the leading nations of the world, come together to help sort this problem out, both in the short term, uh, in terms of human rights, but also we need to find a long-term solution where the Kashmiri people can have proper self-government, uh, proper self-determination. Uh, and uh, we're in a very dangerous juncture. We know that India and Pakistan are nuclear powers. Uh, we know that there have been wars in the past that have nearly escalated out of control. We are in very dangerous times. So I completely agree that the international community, in the UN, including the UK government, needs to do everything that we can uh, to try and put this You know, there is, a, there is a opinion, opinion people, th they think uh, we are not being heard. Like UNO and superpowers, they pay attention for the rest of issues. They are not uh, paying that particular, you know, attention towards this Kashmir issue. So what would you, you would say? Uh, you know, if, if, you know, totally for 70 years neglect one issue, and now at the moment it, it uh, comes to the, that point that uh, the Constitution, that Article 370 is being revoked. Yes. So that was recognized by UNO. So what would you say to people to assure the people of uh, uh, Kashmir or uh, any background? What, what, what would you like to say in uh, uh, relation to that? So India has ambitions to, to be a member of the UN Security Council. Uh, India thinks of itself as the largest democracy in the world. Uh, but at the moment, India, uh, by denying um, international uh, aid agencies, by denying the international media, uh, by not allowing uh, proper uh, international observers, 
uh, to go to uh, Kashmir and find out what's happening and help where they can. Uh, I think they are not living up to the, uh, the, 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 the highest reputations uh, of, um, uh, of good government uh, or, if, or of democratic government. So it is really important that at this point, uh, not only uh, that, the, uh, that those countries most involved in the history of this area, uh, and we think about Pakistan and the UK governments in particular, um, making the, the strongest representations, but also not escalating it uh, into, uh, into, into war, which I, I fear uh, this situation could get into. But the whole of the United Nations of the world need to say to India, come on, this is not on. Uh, we need to get back to sensible self-government uh, in Kashmir. We need to respect human rights. Uh, and we need those international observers, international aid agencies, the international media. The eyes of the world are already on you. And if when we get to, if, if when we are properly allowed into Kashmir, we find out that, uh, that terrible abuses have happened, uh, India will never, ever live that down. And the international community must never allow that. Uh, thank you very much, Jonathan Lord. Uh, you are very positive. We appreciate your time. And uh, on behalf of millions of people, they will watch this video. Thank you very much for coming today. And thank you very much for uh, raising your voice for, for, for the sake of human rights, raising uh, your voice uh, in the favor of uh, pe people. They are being detained, waterless, foodless, and basic human needs in occupied Kashmir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.